You want to come hang out with me over here? You want to choose a toy? No? You want to eat something you found on the ground? <laughs> I'm Emma. And I'm Abby. And if you couldn't guess, today we're doing Six Picks Animal Books, bringing you six of our favorite books about people and their very best friends. Isn't that right? Yeah. My first pick is Lily and the Octopus by Stephen Rowley, and this book is all about our narrator, Ted, and his best friend, Lily, who is a dachshund. And that's a schnauzer. <laughs> and this is a great story about man and his best friend, but something happens to Lily that causes Ted to go into a tailspin, and it has to do with the octopus in the title. Now, I won't spoil it for you and tell you what the octopus actually is, but you will definitely want to read this moving story about a best friend and his dog. My first book is The Fantastic Mr. Fox by Roald Dahl. It's one of my all-time childhood favorites. It's about an aptly fantastic fox, Mr. Fox, and his fox family, and all of his animal friends who are kind of on a caper against three mean farmers. I chose this book because even if you've seen the movie that was based on it, and the movie is really, really good, you don't get the particular Roald Dahl magic that's in the book itself. The caper is a lot simpler, but so much fun. Excuse you. My second pick is H is for Hawk by Helen McDonald. This is a stunning memoir of grief when Helen's father drops dead suddenly in a London street she decides to pick up his hobby. Now, his hobby is not golf or tennis. His hobby is falconry. And she decides to train a Goshawk and adopt one and you know, train it from when it's a baby bird. So she actually uses um, a book by the once and future King author to help her training. And this is a really majestic story of how she sees the Goshawk's anger mirroring her own anger after her father is ripped from her tragically. My second pick is The Once and Future King by T.H. White. It's a retelling of the King Arthur myth. It's funny, it's anachronistic, and it's got lots of great animals. There's the mythical questing beast, there's Archimedes the talking owl, and at one point, Merlin, who is young King Arthur's tutor, turns them both into fish. It's the best. <laughs> my third pick is Dog Medicine, How My Dog Saved Me From Myself by Julie Barton. And this is another memoir. Julie herself was 22 and living in New York City just one year out of college when she becomes crippled by incredible depression, really a suicidal depression and she calls her mother from a heap in the floor. Her mom comes from Ohio and takes her home. And the only thing that brings her back to life is when she adopts a golden retriever puppy named Bunker. And she and Bunker learn to live again together. And it's an incredible story of the power that animals have to heal us and just make the world a better place. My third book is Spineless by Julie Burwald. It's a non-fiction book about jellyfish. It's very much in the, in the vein of a Mary Roach book where you learn so much cool science about something you never even knew there was that much science to learn about. I found this book endlessly fascinating. I had no idea how many types of jellyfish there are and how many people have studied them and how many things they can do. It was crazy, highly recommend. All right, there you have it, readers. There are our six favorite books all about the animal kingdom. What are your favorite books about animals? Let us know in comments below or tweet at us at Read It Forward. And don't forget to sign up for our newsletter, What We're Reading, at readitforward.com. <laughs>